taking a look at the malice clip here. I'm going to attempt to do this um, by taking it off and then putting it back on. I probably should have had a spare one here to show you, but I didn't think of that when I started the video, so I'm just going to go ahead with it. Basically, though, the malice clip is made by Tactical Taylor. Great piece of kit. Uh, what it's doing is it's allowing me, I'm using a Maxpedition uh, Neat Freak Organizer and an MDOM USA, I guess it's a little admin pocket or admin pouch. Um, it's allowing me to put the admin pouch right here on the front flap of this Maxpedition uh, bag. And it's very smooth, lightweight. No extra bulk, really. And it's adding just a bit of rigidity to the unit. Um, anyway, so we're taking kind of a look from the outside, I guess. And uh, there's the malice clip from the top. And the attachment point down here doesn't leave a lot of room for slop. I can easily use these pouches. They're very sturdy. Something like this one, where I've been using it with the GPS. You know, it's, it's attached very sturdily to the pack, so the PALS system obviously is a decent, durable system. So anyway, that's how it works and whatnot. Now let's get in there and... I'm going to take this admin pouch off and then put it back on again. So the first thing you got to do is open the uh, malice clips and you need a tool to do that. So you're supposed to push from this side and that releases it and as you straighten it back out you can actually I guess I should stick my finger in there to create some tension and now when I push there's some reason for this one, for this piece, to disengage out of the lock. Okay, I'm going to end up doing what I end up doing all the time, which is to pry this part up. And that opened the lock. You can see there how the lock goes in and fills this gap. Then there is a newer style, I guess. This must be the older style or something, because it's uh, a little more tedious to get it apart. Okay, so now I've busted the locks on both sides, and then from there it's not too bad. You basically reach up here, and I like to just stick my thumb in and pull. Because of the polyurethane or whatever this material is that they use to build them, uh, it's fairly rigid, they keep their shape. They retain a straight shape real good, and they're real pliable, so this didn't hurt or anything. I just stuck my finger in and pulled, pulled away, and that, you know, pulled this loose end through, and now you just grab the lock and pull through. Just so you see the uh, lock, and then it goes under the piece of pals on the backpack, and then it goes under uh, the piece of pals on the, on the pouch, then it goes back under the pals on the pack. I'm going to pull this out just a bit so it's a little more obvious what's going on there. So under, through, and then under. And now it would come back. And on this row, I'm going under. This one, I'm going under. So it's not quite alternating because I went under two there. And then... This one goes under as well, so that's three under, and now what I've got is it's attached here, it's attached here, it's attached here, and once I clip the lock again, it'll be attached here. So it's really attached in one, two, three, four places, and that creates a nice solid, strong attachment point. Because everything's pliable and malleable, you can just hold the lock, push the loose end in and you'll hear it and probably see it there snap into place and the new ones it, you just kinda pry up like this this old one or whatever I think it's an old one just isn't quite the same but basically again if you can see that clip back into place it just dropped down into place so now I gotta put the second one back on and it's going to feed through 
and then through the middle here and the you know the stronger material you know these these pouches are both made in seems well this one maybe is 500 cordura maybe it's a thousand but it doesn't really matter because i'm going through this chunk of velcro strap with a chunk of Vel a nylon behind it so this is a fairly robust you know foundation that i'm working with this is nothing but nylon one inch webbing and like two layers of cordura so this isn't exactly flexible i mean it will bend but um you definitely take some finger strength like I say, luckily the uh, the malice clip is so malleable yet strong that it's able to take the bending that I just did there in order to get that guy to come from under this front one, under this one, in through that one, and then back under this one. And then it comes in from the top all the way down through those three. And then again, I just pull the lock back, add that straight piece. Once they lock together, it's back together. And I see it's all kind of askew here. And this has a little to do with these not quite being, I think this one's a good one and a half inch grid. Actually, it's a two inch grid. And then the, um, the one on the Maxpedition looks to be about exactly the true one and a half inch grid so it's just a, that's one of the reasons grids can be an issue in this case it's really not an issue I just paused here for a minute but it's about to lay flat as we saw before but what's happening is that there's one two three four columns on the true PALS grid that the Maxpedition pouch uses but on the back of this um, MDOM there's one two three columns so we're basically having to match you know three columns to four columns and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to pull it to the, you know, on this Maxpedition side where there's four columns. I'm going to bring them in as far as they can go. And on the three columns, they're just going to kind of be floating in the middle. And again, because everything's just so um, durable here, or so, you know, substantial, it's just a matter of kind of folding them together. It feels like I'm folding a deck of cards. There's so much material here. It's not super heavy or anything. But now we see how it just went back to being in place real well. Again, these malice clips being rigid and wide lend themselves to not being all floppy and loose. If I was using a weak piece of nylon in there, um, less even than uh, you know the regular nylon with a plastic strap, like in an attic strap, um, just using a floppy piece of nylon, smoothing it all out can be kind of uh, difficult sometimes. Uh, sometimes a chopstick or something will help to help you know kind of guide nylon where you want it to go. But in this case, these two mesh together really well. And I hope that showed you how the malice clip works. And in a, in a situation like this where you might want to use the malice clip, just creates a very nice, strong, uniform attachment point. And I think I mentioned in my other video, this uh, Benchmade knife has a, just about a two inch wide sheath. It's like actually it's about two and a half inch wide, but it just happens to match up perfectly with the center gap there between the two malice clips. So I can actually just thread it through here. It's just catching on the nylon. I can thread it through here, and I could potentially use um, I could use malice clips either on one side or both, probably just on one side to avoid bulk. And then I could malice clip this into place, but I suspect I could probably use just the 550 and thread it through and have a an attachment point there so that's another option um, when we're dealing with something like this and actually it's a it's a point that I guess I should mention the um, the knife which has the pals ladder also would work with this center column on the three panels or the three columns of the pouch but it wouldn't work very well with the four columns below it because the knife center column would be right on top of the seam and it would have to shift one way or the other and there's just not really room for that so that's a situation where having the three columns line up with the four columns is really a benefit when you're going kind of off the grid or between the grid with something like that option. So I guess it turned into a little bit more about PALS than just the, the malice clip attachment, but hopefully it also showed off how well those malice clips work. And again, they're from Tactical Tailor. You can just get them straight from their website or 
pretty much at all the places that sell this kind of gear and a lot of the pouches just come with them right away can't go wrong with malice clips they're not perfect they're not the best for everybody but they are silent and they work pretty good and for something like this they're very low profile